took a bite of my gummy bear? Who took a bite of my gummy bear? Who's eating my gummies? Who's eating my Johns? You eating my Johns? Slow that down. I'll eat my Johns. All right. Now listen. You're going to see some wardrobe changes. You're going to see some crazy shit. But today, I'm reviewing the whole lot of it. Ah. Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. All right. Alexa, play me music by Slightly Stupid. All right. Let's go. Kicking it. You know it. Feel it building. Here it comes. Yeah. All right. Devil's Lemons, Shatter. Now, I may or may not have already done this, but we're going to do a little revisit because I got some better genetics on it. It's been a while since it came out. I did some looking up. Devil's Lemon, Shatter. Also in other circles known as Lucifer's Lemons. That's for so Giving all my love them, but I'm still going to need some more. I'm stealing from the rich just to give it to the poor. Telling everybody it don't matter anymore. All I really needed was a friend like you. Help me through. Together we can change it. It wasn't for too long. Everywhere I go. Closer to the sun and far from the moon. People keep telling me they're gonna see soon. I fucked up the words, but you know. This is going to be my next cannabis cover. Drew, I forgot about you. Drew, 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 Drew. Not Drew, M. Drew, B. Ah, Drew, B, Drew, B, Drew. Steal it from the rich and then give it to the poor. All I really needed was a friend like you to help me through. Together we could change. All right. Devil's Lemons. Lucifer's lemons. It would make sense to have him have this. The numbers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. THC, 0.32. THCA, 81.42. CBG, 1.12. CBGA, 1.8. Carphelian is uh, 56.56. Merce, 0.53. Linlu, 0.3. So, 1.4. That's not bad. Not for a shatter, trust me. It's probably going to be a little, little, little darker. Maybe, I don't know. It's kind of a light tear profile. It might be golden. It might be golden. Not like super dark. Sometimes they're dark, sometimes they're not. So, Hells of, or um, Devil's Lemons, Lucifer's Lemons, whatever you want to call it these days, um, is a cross between Lemon Grove and Hells OG. That's what I found. I looked up a couple different things, so. Oh, no. Okay. So what we have is exactly what I thought we were going to have. It's kind of sugary and cloudy, which I get it because of the terps. So... Stupid face. You guys get it. You dig it. It's not like their normal stuff that you get. Normal shatter. Which. I got some waxes and some shit. It's not. It's not see through. But. Eh, not their best presentation. As far as clarity goes. Kind of foggy. There's some. There's some, oh shit, there's some translucence, but not, not what I want to see, not, not saying it's bad, but, alright, so I'm hoping it's going to be tasty and not shitty, because, 
I don't like shitty. Now, full disclosure, I just changed and cleaned the water out of my rig. So we're gonna get a fresh yum yums here. Oh, uh, excuse me. I'm doing this backwards. You guys know how I do it. <clears throat> For all you haters and naysayers, I do a cold start first to get a good to turp profile and get a good flavor. And that slowly settles in. <clears throat> and then the second rip is my high speed, low drag rip. High temp, high heat. We're going to go in cold first. Let's break off a couple of these little, little guys. Okay. <clears throat> Nothing major. We're just, <clears throat> excuse me, first thing in the morning to wake and bake. <clears throat> He says this is a 70% indica dominant hybrid. To my recollection, probably is. All right. This is awesome. It's Saturday. What are you guys getting into? Huh? What are you guys doing? I'm getting more skunky. <laughs> this almost tastes like le um, like lemon skunk, like lemon sweet skunk almost. All right, there are some lemony flavors. Tastes like a dirty kush though. It really does. Like a good earthy kush and skunk. I don't whatever. It's just the flavors I'm getting. You don't have to argue with me. People get all like fucked off. Like, oh, I didn't taste that. Well that's on you. I got a different tongue. The fuck you want me to do. <laughs> but I specifically cleaned my my banger, my water, my all that. Now my banger's a little scorched. That shit happens. Shitty oil will do that to you too. Like that straight lemonade just turned my banger to charge, just straight charge. Alright. <laughs> so there's some on the on the on a cold start. Was low a lower lemon flavor, but it was a higher um cushy flavor. <laughs> um I don't know. I like it. I like devil le devil's lemons. Devil's lemons. Lucifer's lemons. Oh, uh, yeah, like I said, really flavorful, really terpy. For shatter, I like I love it. All right. Let's just get it. Let's go in hot. I mean... Man, super. Got a nice little headbutt. This is my wake and bake. My wake and bake. You guys know. Shatterday. Shatterday review. Nothing spectacular. I know I keep saying I'm going to do this. and I am. It's just... Man... It's harvest, it's hemp field. So now, if you guys are keeping track, follow me on Instagram, whatever. <laughs> so now I moved into the, like the processing side of it now. So now we all got out the field, now we're starting to get it, it's, most of it's dried and flowers dried and cured and now we're, we're going to go ahead and start basically getting it trimmed up and ready for sale all right I'm gonna get a little a little crazy first thing nobody cares I don't cheers
<laughs> it's funny to watch it. <laughs> watch it peak hard. That's what those bubbles are, by the way. <clears throat> Man, I know. I haven't said anything in like <clears throat> 30 seconds. Oh, I was so late. I'm going back in. Alright. <clears throat> the flavors on that were like like a dirty lemon. If I had to give you a taste. I get like. <clears throat> yeah, like a dirty lemon. It's, it's spicy. It's funky. It's dirty. It's yummy. Nom noms. <clears throat> I'm waiting on a Cresco drop. And we're waiting on um, Prime Drop. I want to see who's coming out with some new strains, you know? I'm tired. Everybody's got the same strains. Same strains. Nobody's hooking, you know, you guys crossing genetics with each other? Like, you guys are companies, man. And all in PA. So you're all just sucking the <clears throat> teat of the money nipple of Pennsylvania medical marijuana patients. Cannabis patients. Cannabis. See what this reheat tastes like. It's probably going to be gross. Keep in mind, this is cured. <coughs> These are like nug runs. You know, shit like that. Probably, I'm sure there's some fucking... Of course, your sugar leaves in there and all that. Trim. Cheers. So, I'm just wondering, because I know they're always on point. Like, Terrapin's never been off. Never. I've had all their stuff. <coughs> Wait it all. It's never, ever, ever. I need something to put on top of this. It's never off. With that said, let's test it out. <coughs> let's see where we're at. Let me see. How, how can I do this in a smart manner? Probably no way, because I'm stupid. It's too stupid. <coughs> so, we'll just kind of just assume it was a gram, right? Oh, yeah. I just did a quarter gram dab. Not, you know, not bragging, but... Right? Can you see that? Can you say it? Yep, boom. Well, as soon as I breathe on it, so, and that's, let's just say that that's not, <clears throat> oh no, good thing it's not hot, so, <clears throat> on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give the flavor profile of this, <clears throat> a 5, it's, it's average, 
It's nothing special. It's not like, oh man, that's terpy. Nah. You want your waxes and your sugars and stuff like that. You're live, right? <coughs> Lungs. <coughs> mm. I almost wanted to spit it out and look at it. That was a big ball of oil. You could feel it. It's different. It's not like a loogie. I don't get loogies anymore. Like, I quit smoking cigarettes. <clears throat> I haven't had, like, a crazy loogie unless I get sick. Why do they call it loogies? <clears throat> That's so weird. Is that a language? I don't know. All right. Anyway. So, the high of this. This is definitely an indica lini. That said, there's a bit of a head buzz. <clears throat> so, I don't know. I know Hell's OG is an indica. I don't know Lemon Grove. If I had to guess, Lemon Grove. Probably a sativa leaning something. <clears throat> With that said, this is great. Um, like, I'm relaxed. My shoulders are dropped. Yo, this... No, that, no that's real. So, <clears throat> it's funny. I seriously have a lot of pain. <clears throat> Just to give you some some like a comparison of what I did so we were averaging two giant cartfuls of hemp a day me and two to four Guatemalans to paint on the days because some of them drank some of them wouldn't come to work some of them whatever <clears throat> I don't get it I I personally am not knocking these dudes but yo if I'm leaving my wife and kids at home fucking whatever 4,000 miles away however far it is my ass is going to work every day, unless I'm sick. If I'm sick, I ain't going to work. <clears throat> I'm going to work every day I can. I'm not going to not go to work. So, whatever. I get it, people are human, but... So, that said, man, we stripped. We, we tore down, we tore down 10 acres. I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> 15,000 plants in right at two weeks. I think it was 10 working days. Um, and to give you an idea, <clears throat> should have taken like 10 people, you know, truthfully. Um, I'm not going to toot my own horn, but I did <clears throat> last week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I did a majority of the loading. One day I had the Amish guys help, but Monday it was all me put every single plant in them trailers that was two loads so like tuesday came around the amish came out but i'm like bro i can't do it i'll drag plants today but i can't throw like my arm i couldn't hardly move my arm like my arm was shot because <clears throat> you're taking these plants and you're throwing them 1500 an acre <clears throat> and the plants were massive, bushy, huge, just like this, like, they're like literally big, like this big around, huge, tall, taller than me, <clears throat> most of them are right around four and a half, five foot tall, which, those are some good sized plants, and then, you know, those are average size, <clears throat> um, you know, but with the tops on there, I mean, they were good six footers. <clears throat> I'm talking about the bushy parts, 40, you know, average and five foot, and then plants average six foot, like, it was crazy, um, just massive plants, just massive, so, and then Wednesday, so we did an average of two loads a day, Wednesday we did seven loads, all right, with two Amish, two Guatemalans, and myself, but... The last load was just me and two Guatemalans in the dark, pitch dark, Wednesday night, in the rain. <clears throat> my point of telling you this is, my body is trashed, trashed, but as I sit here and look, I'm like, man, why is this, why is this shirt sitting up like that, like, what, what's going on, and it's my traps, like, literally, I 
listen, I'm knocking on 40, 40's door, right? You know, I just turned 39, but that means I'm getting closer to 40 every day. That said, I'm gaining muscle. Like, underneath all this, this, this thing looks crazy right now. <laughs> like, legit. I got on the scale <clears throat> at work. When I started, I was like 190. Ish, 195, 200, let's just say. We could just say 200 and it'd be safe, but if you want to be like, nah, wait, all right, we could say 190, I don't care. <clears throat> I got in a scale at work yesterday with my boots, my pants, my phone, my freaking Gerber uh, multi-tool, in my boots, my steel toe boots, my sweatshirt, my hat, my socks, my underwear, my beater, my t-shirt, I already said my hoodie, and my big ass jacket, because it was cold ass outside yesterday, <clears throat> and I weighed 176 pounds, so I'm just going to say I weighed 170 pounds, which, that's crazy, my waist size starting this was a 34, it's now a 30, that's crazy, the point is, I'm working my ass off, been working like 65, 70 hours a week, just tired and beat down, sore, but, Lemon G right now, no, not Lemon G, sorry, I was looking at Lemon Root, Devil's Lemons is making me feel great, like, I'm, um, you know, I'm kind of sore, like, I'm like, man, I feel like I went to the gym, like, four days ago, like, damn, dude, I'm, kind of, I'm still sore from that, and shoulder workout, man, and legs, that's what I feel like, <clears throat> I didn't feel like that when I woke up, I didn't take my capsules yet, I'm, <clears throat> I like taking them a little bit later in the weekends, I try to trick my brain, <clears throat> brain, brain, on some other shit, brain, little dicky, shout out, So, I'm going to end, post this so you guys can check it out. <clears throat> oh, yeah, so, great. 70-30 end of call day. Um, it's not going to make you, like, couch locky, but it'll get you there. Now, you know, I just dabbed a quarter gram, so, and like I said, I'm not bragging. That's just kind of what it takes. It takes about that to get me going, so, <clears throat> yeah. Like, that's where I'm at in my dab life. I don't know where you're at in your dab life. But where I'm at medicine-wise, a good fat dab gets me right. And I'm cool, right? I don't bust fat dabs like that like every whatever hour or so, maybe. So, yeah, in a day, I'll dab a gram or two. All day. All day. Um, so, I kind of dial that back with my capsules. Um, and edibles just... They get me to the place I need to be at for less. With with less. Um, so you need to check that out. You should do that. But this is good medicine. Body feels good. I'm loving it. Um, and I, <clears throat> you know, I like it. I like giving fresh looks at stuff. Revisiting things, whatever. You know, second opinions, if you will. Um, what else? There's something I was going to say. Oh, yeah. So look. <clears throat> If you guys want clothes, you know, I make clothes, and look, I mean, I'm, that's all I do now, I wear my clothes, I don't wear anything else, I'm never wearing, any, any Eagles, I'll probably just make my own stuff then, like, I'm literally done buying anything with a logo on it, I'll just make my own, um, I'm, I'm actually saving up and investing in getting a, a legit vinyl printer, cutter, all that, like, you know, like, Vista print shit, um, commercial stuff, uh, just because I, I want that quality, um, that said, this is, this is good, good stuff, Lynn, anybody, any of you who were first, who first got my stuff, if anything happens to your stuff, let me know, um, but you gotta wash it and dry it on low, inside out, it's the only thing about this, you should do that with anything that has a print on it, um, FYI, if you didn't know that, like, always wash it inside out, always wash it on low, dry it on low, 
Um, because this stuff is, whatever it is, vinyl, like, it's what it ends up being. It's vinyl. Um, and it, it has a, a point that the temperature will make it hard crack and it'll start to, you know, crack apart. St extended periods of time. So you don't want that. That said, I've had it already happen to me and I, I learned that because I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. No. So stoned. Like, legit, I'm pretty high. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, like I was saying, if you want clothes for me, go on Instagram and do that. Like, it's really, just please try to keep it to these two things. Well, and then here. Do not place orders on this YouTube channel because it's not going to happen. <clears throat> you can place an order all day long. And I know everybody's like, just do an SD thing and <clears throat> or just do this. I know. Another app. Uh, download Venmo. <clears throat> Whatever. If you don't want to, fine. I'm just going to tell you that. This is the easiest, fastest way to get something from me. Download the app Venmo. V-E-N-M-O. Search for at X C O N J O H N. The letter X C O N J O H N. No spaces. <clears throat> it's easy. Friend request me. Boom. Whatever. Hey, what's up? Is this you? Is this a dude in the YouTube channel? Whatever you want to verify it's me. <clears throat> so you can ask me some random question that you think only I would know. All right. Verify it's me. Cool. Once you do that, then <clears throat> you can go on there. You can. Attach a card. You can do. Um, you can do prepaid. You can do whatever. So you don't have to attach your actual credit card information. You can just upload whatever. Any way to get this is how you get the money to me. So I can once I get the money, then I go get the shirts and do all that stuff for you. <clears throat> um, so yeah, if you want, look on my Instagram account, xconjohn. Same thing. There might be a space. There might not be. But if you type, just it'll come up. <clears throat> um, and then go through. Like, I know, I got, like, I'm get, I'm creeping up on 3,000 posts, whatever. I just take pictures and post anything. Um, but just go on there. <clears throat> so, every time I make something, I take a picture of it. If I remember to, if I'm not, like, lit or doing a million other things at once, which right now. Ah, shit, we have to walk. We got to do something else I was supposed to do first thing this morning. Oh, shit. So, I think I might have did a micro tear on my ACL, MCL, whatever the, whichever one the outside one is. I gotta turn these crackers on. My crackers. Yeah, let's get these, get these dudes going. Uh, so what I was saying is, sorry, and that's weird, my face. My face all up in your face. Um. Ah, damn. Look at me. So what I was saying, <clears throat> if you go on Venmo, you download it, boom, find me, there you go. Venmo is the, it's owned by PayPal. It's basically like, it's their, uh, so what these companies are doing, like how Facebook did it. So you know how there's Instagram, which is what I use and probably because I don't use Facebook that much because I was in jail the whole time. And then Instagram became popular and I was like, oh, I like Instagram. And actually, truth be told, I like Instagram better than Facebook. Because on Facebook, people can just post like, Oh my god, today was the absolute worst day. Like, oh, please, please, people, I need help. Like, oh my god, uh, 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 oh my god, somebody, uh, like, whatever. It's like usually, it's a, you're just a attention whore. You just want fucking boo hoo. Like, you want sympathy. Boo hoo, boo hoo. Hashtag me too. Like, all this stupid people just fucking attention whores, man. You're making it about yourself. Narcissist. It's fucking, it's, it's a sickening thing. You know, I'm not saying hashtag me too, like in the, that thing, but it's like, fuck, man, like not, you don't have to make everything about you. So, fuck off. <laughs> That's why I kind of like stay off of Facebook. So, <clears throat> that matter of fact, perfect example. Lynn, I don't know when you did, but she posted this thing on Facebook, like, you know, like, oh, yeah, because she bought $50 worth of stuff, and it's awesome. Um, I'm going to actually send Lynn some more stuff too. So, Lynn. Check the mail. <laughs> um, but she made a post, and I didn't see it because I don't really go on Facebook like that. So, go on Instagram or go on Venmo, okay? Venmo, Venmo number one, please. Venmo, like Venmo, X-Con John. Ah. 
go on there and you can type me a message and be like, yo bro, I want first, whatever. Give me the color, give me the size, give me the type. So I want um, black, large t-shirt. All right, cool. Then what do you want on it? I want eat my Johns on there. Um, with the bear looking crazy, which I, that, I really tore that, by the way. And it re actually looks like somebody did it, so it kind of works out. Um, all right, cool. Then your address. And it's 15 bucks to ship, all right, from small to extra large. If you know, from small to large, I lie. No, small to extra large? I don't know. It might be, yeah, small to extra large. Maybe extra large is more, but whatever. For t-shirts... It's extra large, boom, and down, five bucks to ship. So it's fifteen dollars. A t-shirt's ten, five dollars shipping. Cool. <clears throat> la 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 la. All right. So if you want to place an order, that's how it works. All right. And prices start out at fifteen dollars, and then they go up in increments of, I'm pretty sure, five. Right? Yeah. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. All right. And it's t-shirt, thin hoodie. This is a sweatshirt, in case you didn't know, which I'm a fan of, because I like not having a hood on. <clears throat> so I'm sitting like, you know, like leaning back, and it's not like, you know, in your place where you don't need your hood at, so you're like leaning back, it's like fucks your neck up, right? All right, and then hoodies, 30 bucks. So, there you go. Anything that's too extra big, or hey, I'm sorry, I can't help it, if you're the way you are. That's the way you are. If you're a big, like, I get it. I used to be a fucking guy, or a 2X, now I'm down to a medium. I, I used to be fucking big, um, very large, um, like 266 pounds, 262, 264, I don't know, it was 260-something. So, <clears throat> you have to throw more in there, all right? So, for that, the shipping's just going to have to be $10, and it's not, it's because it's like 8 or 9, it depends on what it is, but if it's like a hoodie, it's actually 12 or some dumb shit, I, I don't know, it goes by weight. So, if you're getting... Uh, two X or larger shipping has to be ten dollars. I don't bitch to me. Bitch to the United States government. And there are some times when it's like eight bucks and I make two dollars or whatever. Whoa! Settle down, guys. Ripping us off. So yeah, that's what you do, right? Just do all that, man. Yeah, I was kind of, I spaced out there for a second. I'm, I'm coming back down now, so I'm, I'm back. But, yeah, it was pretty, oof. I mean, Christ almighty, I was rambling for minutes there. Look at it, it's 33 minutes already. But, yeah, so just to simplify this, Venmo, XCon John, boom. Yo, bro, I want this. Venmo, no. Instagram, XCon John. Yo, bro, it's whatever from YouTube. You're... I want this. All right, word. Then me some money. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to download the app. Now the third way and the slow snail mail way. I mean, I'm talking about super slow. Um, is you could send me a money order with your order on a piece of paper. All right. Now there's a couple reasons why I do not like doing this, and this is why. I don't care if you want to go this route, but a if I can't read what you wrote, b if what you wrote is not what you want or there's a misinterpretation all right and then see if you fuck up the money order and i can't cash it also d if you don't have any kind of social media except for this the only way that i'm going to be able to communicate with you is make a video for you specifically and i think the other 500 and whatever it is 60 59 people, what, I don't even know how many subscribers I have, it's over 500, but whatever it is, the other rest of them are like, what the fuck, whoever you are, you're not special, fuck out of here, because you're not, you're just another person, and I will help everybody equally. That said, if you fuck up an order, I'll do my best, once I make sure that the money order cashes, right, I'll do the best I can. Now, if you're going to send that way, John Ivy, I-V-E-Y. There you go. So, I, I don't like it that way, but I understand that, and I'm not going to knock you for that. It's going to take a it's going to take a long time. 
because I probably won't. I only check my. I only go to the post office once a week on Saturday, um, right now because harvest season. Like, come on. So I'm going there today. I'm mailing off some stuff. A couple people want some shirts. Thank you very much for the orders and the money. We're sending it out. So we're at two hundred dollars at the Venmo account, right? Which is super awesome. And that money is going towards. Drum roll, please. A booth. The Cannabis Festival. 420 weekend. Wherever it's going to be at. Somewhere in Lancaster County, I can't remember. Um, so, there you go. And that will be, if you seriously, on, on some, on some like real deal Holyfield shit, you want, you want to get some products from me, you know, we're going to have, depending on where the market's at, we're going to have CBD edibles. Um, we're going to have, I'm going to have probably the isolate, maybe, I don't know, depends on how they do it, but I'm going to have my own <clears throat> distillate, CBD distillate, or isolate, you know, whichever they end up getting. From the products that I'm currently working with to process, and those will be infused. Um, I'll probably have both if the market's legal and I'm allowed to by then. I don't. I doubt it'll be that quick um, for them to get it all in place. But but at, at the bare minimum, we're gonna have some non-infused and infused um, edibles, right? Just it's food, <laughs> uh, and then we'll have some lotions and some all that other stuff. Plenty of merch like T-shirts with all kinds of things on them. Like we're getting crazy moving forward <clears throat> and I'll have some I'm also going to have the uh, probably have um, the TLC Botanical we'll see what see what they say about it but I don't think they'll care have some of their merch there because you know it's they're awesome um, you know it's maybe some Amish stuff I don't know I'm just I'm just thinking out loud and like I said I'm still trying to work with my brother getting there uh, to do massages because he's a certified dude's like legit he's his hands are crazy. Um, so, yeah, I'm just giving you some things. So, that's where I'm at right now. Thank you for supporting the channel. And that's what it all does. Like, at the end of the day, all this stuff, like, my buddy, um, he was like, man, why don't you charge this $15 and then make it $20? Like, and, you know, like, just give yourself that $10 each shirt instead of five. And I was like, I, I don't know, man. It's just, I just don't feel, it don't feel right with me. It just don't sit right in my stomach. And I don't, so hey, there you go. That's the reason why. Like when people ask me why I do the things I do, nine times out of ten, I don't even know why. I just know that it feels right. So if it feels right to me, if I know I'm doing right, then it's cool. You know, I just don't feel it. Like, I'm not saying that it's these aren't worth it. Of course they are. And I know that, but I just don't feel like that's the thing to charge. If I start, I bet, this is crazy, this is what everybody says, I bet if you started selling them for $15 a piece and making them even 20 to ship, you'd sell more because people are like, oh, their quality must be better. I mean, I get that, and I've invested about $500 in material to make shirts, so there's quality in these shirts, so don't get it twisted, but they're not going to last forever, they're going to last about two years, you know, um, <clears throat> but hey, that's pretty good if you spend 10 bucks on something and it lasts two years and you get some use out of it like that. That's a pretty good investment. Even if it was 20 bucks, truth be told. I mean, I invested $55 in that thing of shatter. Sure as shit, it'll be gone by tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Enjoy your day. Hope you guys have a great day. Stay warm. Stay warm, Lynn. Everybody, everybody, send positive vibes to Lynn, okay? Lynn's dealing with some, some maybe like blood clotting issues, and um, you know, went to the doctor the other day, had a bad experience. Love Lynn. So give Lynn some prayers. Make some comments here. Send some positive vibes. If you say anything ignorant, I will literally, I don't know what I'll do. I'll definitely destroy you on social media. Do not be ignorant to Lynn. Be nice. Be nice, people. Be nice. Right? 
don't be don't be mean don't be nasty and then the funny thing is when when you're being mean and nasty and you don't realize it and then somebody brings it to your attention don't be an asshole and be like you're a dick eh, the truth the truth will always set you free but i find what the truth does keeps me sucker free ah now but let's send some love to lynn lynn needs some love all right lynn listen gotta tell you you're awesome all right not just because you bought stuff from me, not because of none of that. Because you're a 60-year-old lady. I'm a 40-year-old dude, so we got 20 years difference. But you tell me that you have learned from me, and I have learned a lot from you. I really have. I have learned that you can love a complete stranger. And for that, I love you. And I thank you. Super awesome. So let's, let's send some positive vibes Lynn's way. She needs it, all right? You know, get these blood clots fuck out of here. You know, that shit's no bueno. Um, just, it's concerning, you know, because that's, that's life-threatening. You know what I mean? So let's let's send some prayers, some positive vibes, whatever you're into, whatever you believe in. Just some good positive energy to Lynn. We need to get Lynn healed up, all right? And Lynn, keep on medicating. Everybody, okay? Johnny, my son, damn it, man. Seven days. This dude's going to be 18. I love you, buddy. He probably don't even watch any of these. I don't know. I don't know. I probably would watch these and be like, make fun of my dad. Like, if I was my kid, legit, me and my buddies would get together and be like, look at this fucking fucktard. Oh, hey, guy, you guys want to laugh? They just jerk off, right? Just straight bust your balls. Because, like, you don't really get a chance to actually disrespect your pops in real life. But it'd be fun and shit to talk shit about behind your back, right? Ah, nah, I don't know. I love you, kid. So I hope you guys like this video. It's long as shit. Damn it, man. But yeah, like, I don't know. Somebody out there, something else. Uh, somebody asked me about edibles. I can't remember what I did, but... Nah, I just... I, I don't... Nothing's infused right now, because... I don't feel like dealing with the bullshit, but... I definitely make some badass stuff. So, like, if you want some all-natural vegan... Mints made by these hands right here. I make those and I'm very good at it. And like, legit, yo, know, vegan's the way to go when it comes to sugar. I'm telling you, believe me, ain't nothing tastes better than that. The other stuff tastes like cotton candy, like, no matter what. This, whew, man, it's like almost like a honey taste. This is fucking natural. It's great. So, yeah. So high. That's it. So lit. That wasn't it. Ah.